He has, we all miss him. Iron Man is more than a suit clad man. He's a smooth talking charmer who always gets his way. He's a little rough around the edges, but he's dependable when it matters. He's a leader and trendsetter for the Avengers or whatever team he's on, and he's a genius. Hello folks and welcome back to Super Heroes United. In today's video, we'll have a look at Iron Man's evolution over the past six decades. It is not an exaggeration to say that Iron Man revolutionized the movie business. Just how did that occur? How could a third tier Marvel character have such an impact? Let's have a look. 1960s. Iron Man has been a part of pop culture for an incredible 59 years now. Iron Man made his debut in a comic book anthology published in 1963 entitled Stories of Suspense. Four was the creator of Iron Man. Stan Lee, a writer and editor, conceived of the story first, followed by his brother Larry Lieber, who penned the comic book, illustrator Don Heck, and Jack Kirby, who constructed the first iteration of Iron Man's armored combat suit. Prior to joining the MCU, he worked in animated films. 1970s, Marvel's primary focus was on developing the Iron Man character. In the 1966 film Marvel Super Heroes, Iron Man was given a voice by John Vernon. 1990s In Spider-Man and his amazing friends, William Marshall voiced Iron Man. In 1994, Robert Hayes voiced Iron Man. Iron Man's team included Century, War Machine, Scarlet Witch, Hawkeye, and Spider-Woman. The Incredible Hulk in 1996 starred Robert Hayes. 2000s Iron Man is voiced by David Kaye in the Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes episode, Shell Games. Adrian Petru provides the voice of Iron Man in Iron Man Armored Adventures. Iron Man was voiced by Tom Kenny in the Superhero Squad show. 2008. To prevent shrapnel from entering his heart in the first Iron Man film, Tony outfits himself with a mini arc reactor that also fuels his suits. His initial suit, the massive Mark I, is mostly bulletproof and has a flamethrower and missile launcher to protect himself against his captors, as well as jet boots capable of one flight to aid in his escape. Tony, now free, swears never to sell guns again and develops the titanium steel Mark II. This suit includes the Jarvis AI system, repulsors, a unibeam, a heads-up display, and improved flight skills. It does, however, ice up at high altitudes. However, this is corrected by including gold alloy into the Mark III's suit composition, in addition to red coloring, shoulder-mounted guns, kinetic micro-missiles, and more flares. Stark now faces his erstwhile business partner turned Iron Monger in this update. 2010, the brighter, more streamlined Mark IV, which includes the capacity to filter P, is briefly worn in Iron Man 2, as is the Mark V, which transforms from a suitcase into a thin plated red and silver armor that only possesses his basic armament and is less durable. Because his different arc reactors appear to be poisoning him, Tony produces a new element to power his arc reactors using a blueprint from his deceased father. The Mark VI, his next suit, has silver highlights and a triangular unibeam, is immune to and even energized by electricity, is water resistant, has more grenade launchers, and a single use laser. In this costume, he battles the nefarious Whiplash. 2012 Tony employs metallic wristbands in the Avengers to launch the pod shaped Mark VII, which may assemble over Tony in midair. It's substantially larger and the first suit with its own built-in arc reactor. In addition to thrusters on the back to free his hands while flying, multiple use lasers and significantly more firepower to protect against invading aliens. It's also supposedly capable of traveling through a wormhole and nuking an alien mothership. 2013. Tony forms the Iron Legion to handle his PTSD in Iron Man 3, Mark 8 with missile-proof Kevlar, Mark 9 with a jetpack, Mark 10 has speed-boosting flying stabilizers, Mark 11 was a stealth suit prototype with a more detailed helmet, Mark 12's dark gold exoskeleton, the thin-plated Mark 41 can dismantle mid-flight. 
After placing microchips into his arms, Tony can put on the Mark 42 piece by piece. Tony may remotely drive this Iron Legion armor using the AR display headset. Tony battles a furious ex-nerd with his numerous armors. To prove his love for Pepper Potts, he destroys all of his iron suits and gets surgery to remove the shrap chest, eliminating the need for his arc reactor. 2015, Mark 43 has infrared to see through walls in a sentry mode to help Tony while he's not wearing it in Avengers, Age of Ultron. It can also attach to the Hulkbuster armor, which has a sedative gas sprayer and hydraulic puncher. Tony uses white and blue Iron Legion drones. The Mark 45 is crimson and smooth plated. Since Jarvis became a humanoid super being, this suit is run by the Irish Friday OS. Tony helps destroy evil sentient robots he built in Mark 45. 2016, the Mark 46 is introduced in Captain America Civil War and contains numerous accent lights, a trapezoidal chest piece, and the first fully retractable helmet. Tony pushes for government limits on the Avengers in this film, while Captain America objects, ending in an iron cap showdown. While the Mark 46 can study fighting patterns, Tony eventually loses and the Avengers split up. He then changes his name to Tony Stank. 2017, Tony utilizes the more silver Mark 47, which is outfitted with launchable grappling chains and remote Wi-Fi control to keep an eye on Peter Parker from afar in Spider-Man Homecoming. 2018, Tony offers the Hulk West Bruce Banner in the Mark 48, a more streamlined Hulkbuster suit in Avengers Infinity War, while Tony is armed with a new heart-shaped arc reactor capable of deploying his sleek nanotech Mark 50. This suit can develop extra wings and weapons, as well as cannons, shields, and thrusters, allowing him to achieve speeds exceeding Mach 10, and is completely sealed for space flight. It can fire part of its nanotech and make a suture spray to aid in wound healing. But none of this will stop Thanos from sapping away half of the cosmos. 2019, Tony is famished and floating through space in Avengers Endgame, but he is taken back to Earth and raises a family. He gives his wife the blue and gold Mark 49 rescue armor, which has a displacer pack capable of emitting energy blasts. Meanwhile, Tony assists in the discovery of time travel and wears a gray and crimson Quantum Realm suit as he travels back in time to assist in the collection of magical limestones and bids a quick hello to his father. His most recent iron suit, the Mark 85, has OG gold-colored thighs and shoulders, as well as the ability to construct force fields and divert lightning attacks. This suit's gauntlets can carry the infinity stones he uses to snap Thanos out of existence, forcing Tony to sacrifice his life for humanity's survival and finally bookending the Iron Man MCU saga, until they dig him up for some prequel, sequel, sidequel flicks. Inevitable. And this scene made us all cry. We all love you, 3000. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for regular updates. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video.